smell, uh, that doesn't smell friendly, I'll put it that way. Twelve seconds later. Hi everybody, this is very scary. This is one of the most scared I've been. Um, there is a really high likelihood of failure for this, and uh, but we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it a go. So I accept that this very well could be a failure. Um, we are going to do the spiciest food challenge I've ever, 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 ever attempted. One of the spiciest in the world. This is made with like multi, multi, multi million pepper extracts. Um, pure, I think it's Carolina Reaper and ghost pepper powder. Guys, we are outside S&J's Hot Chick. S&J's Hot Chick. This is a $3,000 plus a PlayStation reward prize. You do pay 25 bucks and the quest is to eat three what they call chicken tenders. They're not chicken tenders. These are full on chicken breasts, if not even bigger. These things arguably could be like a pound each absolutely huge you'll see the basic rules seven minutes um no liquids and you have to eat everything plus a piece of bread so three big chicken breasts and a um, ch piece of toast the chicken is served to you piping hot plus then just doused in the extract in the um, pepper powder like this is not made to be edible this is made to fail it really really is they have uh multiple multiple attempts every week and it's a really weird setup it's only available on wednesdays from weird hours like we're here at like 3 30 p.m so yeah um 25 bucks to enter if we win three thousand dollars and a playstation 5 which is cool but i'm very nervous um huge thanks to my friends uh we have katie um from seattle eats and then uh, mr luther luther the great um neil who kind of gave me some tips they said like hey get some pepto which i did line your stomach with food which i did and they said afterward because you will die this stuff will literally kill you so you know i'm always down to keep it real so i'm gonna try to listen to them we're gonna see what happens i am incredibly nervous i don't know what to do i probably ate a little bit too much too i was trying to really coat my stomach i ate a lot um probably not the smart thing likely going to die hopefully we'll be able to do this um and then there is kind of a weird thing where if you like for certain like i don't know if it's always or sometimes he allows people to take to have a glass of water and for each drink or they call it sip i don't know if there's a difference um they minus 100 bucks from the pot so let's cheers to some pepto so i'm definitely gonna do that because i would rather you know get 2500 bucks and complete it I just drank a lot, um, rather than not. So let's see what happens. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. Dear Lord, be with me. And uh, let's go see what we can do. All right, everybody, so real quick, because they're gonna start the Instagram Live, they live all this. So we heard the tenders right here. Um, they smell horrendously hot, covered in, they said like a whole bunch of different peppers. There's uh, covered in extract. You can see all the, like the black is extract, and then the powder which makes it all stick and clump. I am definitely nervous, like we said. The last person to win was about a year ago on my birthday, actually. So that's pretty cool. Um, so like I said, seven minutes and uh, that's it. They, they actually, there's a, uh, ironically, a uh, news lady here today. So they have all the prizes here. So there's like a PlayStation right here. So that's pretty cool. But guys, I'm sweating. I am nervous. Get me started just momentarily. Okay, do. Yeah. Can you like a countdown over your start? Yep. Yeah. Waiting on three more people. Oh, waiting on one more person. Give me a hundred.
turn that towards me, please? The timer. Alright, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to this video and welcome to what is undoubtedly the worst food challenge I have ever attempted. Let's just say this item was made with literally some of the world's hottest ingredients. Uh, there might have been a little bit of a lie, a little bit of deceit in what was actually in it, but we will find out more about it as we go through the challenge. If you also are curious as to why I shoved Kool-Aid powder in my mouth, I will go through that step by step at the end. But right now, seven minutes to eat three of the world's hottest chicken tenders, maybe the hottest chicken tenders, in order to win $3,000 in a PlayStation. Let's tune in and see what happens. Oh. Man, there's a lot of that here. Whoa. Holy crap. Yes, the little bee. Yes, he is. And every swing is a hundred bucks. Yeah. Alright, everybody, toast and three things of powder and breading with all the extract on. This is where things get real. Pama! Yeah. <laughs> 
about pain and discomfort so intense of a heat that it's almost like I barely even remember any of this happening just the pain the discomfort was so extreme it wasn't even that everything felt spicy it was past the point of spicy it literally just felt like a burning coal in my chest it felt like searing pain incredible discomfort and check out this this lady the worker here she puts on gloves to even touch the tray like you know this stuff is not meant to be eaten you know this stuff is horrible is this your recorder yeah okay. I believe him. Huh? I believe he don't eat spicy food. Yeah, you can tell he doesn't eat spicy food. But he, you can tell he's also been researching methods and ways to get mm -hmm. past it. Six and a half hours later. Well, everybody, I think I look great. I mean, look at my eyes. Look at my hands. Look at this, guys. I am so sweaty. <laughs> like, I look at my. I don't know if you can tell, but my hands are just burning. Absolutely burning. Anywhere this stuff touched, like, can you see it? Maybe you can see it in my knees. See, this is normal. And then where the Pepper X touched me, it's all red, like crazy. So long story short, it's Pepper X. That's what the gentleman Javi said. So this guy, this guy saying it's ghost pepper, but after the last time somebody won, he switched it to Pepper X, which is the world's hottest pepper. It's hotter than the Carolina Reaper. That's what the powder is. And so that's why everything it touches is glowing red on me and burning hot. Like, I think like right now that's the most uncomfortable thing. This is, and, and it was a long time ago I did the challenge, but I'm burning all over. But anyway, thanks to Javi for offering the challenge. Appreciate it. It was kind of ironic that we had the lady from the uh, Dallas, was it Dallas, Dallas Observer here today. Um, so yeah, first winner in about a year, and that was that was interesting. I would not recommend. That was that was horrible. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm I can't even recommend trying that challenge. But I mean, I think I think if I'm not mistaken, you're putting three thousand back on it. Yep. So there's three thousand. Actually, I'm gonna raise the price to four thousand. He's gonna raise it to 4,000 just to rub it in my face, I think, because I obviously can't come back and do it. But anyway, so three to 4,000, that's nuts. So, turns out he never was giving away the shoes either. That was, uh, I don't know where that, I don't know where that came from. So, but, so he said, so instead of giving me the shoes, I'll give you the full um, 3,000, so that's pretty cool. Otherwise it would've been 2,500. And then we have the PlayStation, everybody. So, that is a $3,000 cash and a PlayStation 5, so. That's pretty cool. We, we, we did get what we came for. Um, I will say, 
it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. It was horrible. And apparently, so you can see the heat levels of the uh, chicken up there. There is six total, and apparently they're hot. Yeah, I'll come over here. So they have not hot, mild, medium, hot, extra hot, and then damn hot, which is the damn hot what we had today? Yes. Or is it even, or is what we had today even hotter? What we had today is even hotter. Okay, so <laughs> nuts, because you have to sign a, a waiver for the damn hot. And he said the hot is actually equivalent to the atomic at Wingstop, is that right? And those wings, they actually have a challenge to eat those wings. Like, I think, I think it's like, I eat 20 of them or something. So anyway, thanks my friend. Your, uh, your challenge is not edible. But uh, it's, it, it was impressive, man. So like I said, guys, s and is a cool spot. Um, I'm not sure the food is great. Maybe I'll try something normal, not spicy. Like, I don't even want, use normally like a little heat. I don't even want mild. I want not hot, guys. That was, that was crazy. I also had some of their ice cream. They have ice cream here, so shout out to that. But huge thanks to staff. Um, thanks to everybody here involved. Appreciate all those who are supporting. And my hands are burning. They're bright red, so... I'm going to get out of here, guys. But until next time, of course, say happy, I'm hungry, happy eating. Literally, do not do what I do. Just don't do this. Don't try it. Don't even try it. And uh, if you are dumb enough, though, you know where to come on by. S&J. And apparently, at least 3000 if not more, in cash. So until next time, everybody, have a lovely day. Flashback. All right, everybody. So now I'm going to walk you through the happenings and proceedings. So the way this works is they start the challenge once they get 100 live viewers on their Instagram. They do all of these challenges live, and they only do them once a week, starting around 3.30 p.m. And they kind of run until people either run out, they get tired of it. So I knew the key for this challenge, because there was so much breading, was to produce as much saliva as possible, because while we could take a sip of water, we would lose $100 for each drink of water we would take. So I dumped Kool-Aid powder in my mouth. No, it's not comfortable. No, it doesn't taste very good. But as it is kind of acidic, as it is kind of sweet, it will help produce saliva. I also had a big wad of gum in my mouth, similarly to produce saliva, coming from a strategic standpoint, as if somebody was to have dysphagia, you know, or other kind of swallowing or dentation issues. These are some of the medical tips and or suggestions they would recommend. I figured and knew from all my research of this challenge that the only potential way to kind of get through it was to start with the chicken on the inside because um, if I had to start with the batter I knew it was so hot it would just start hitting right away and no to answer your question it would not be good to even out the spice that is not the case this is far too spicy. It also came out that this was although being advertised as ghost pepper uh, like powder on it in addition to the couple million Scoville extract it was actually pepper X powder so this whole chicken thing was three million plus Scovilles um, between the actual powder being over three million Scovilles pepper X is the hottest pepper on the world it is hotter than ghost peppers um, it is so spicy so uncommon and so rare still and so new that it's really uh, often unheard of but it is spicier than ghost peppers it was engineered by the same guy who um, sorry created the Carolina Reaper so it's even spicier than Carolina Reapers and made by the gentleman who made the Carolina Reaper in addition to be these tenders literally being doused and covered so much in extract and you have to understand extract is pure oil so the fact that the extract which is basically pure oil slash like you know pasty mush is so thick and condensed onto these chicken tenders is because there's that much like spicy powder in it that it basically you know coagulates it into this paste so just absolutely insane you know again so these were although advertised which should have been 1 million scoville they were far over 3 million scoville uh, which is just absolutely absurdly hot and the way the Scoville scale works is like if you had one gram of you know something at one million Scoville having three grams does not equate to three million Scoville like it is just exponentially hotter exponentially worse and it is by far the spiciest thing I've ever 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 had um, getting the chicken down um, definitely the only way I could have done is because I was a competitive eater used to swallowing things whole 
um, or swallowing larger pieces, the average individual is not going to be able to do as such. Swallowing down the big clumps of batter like that, virtually impossible. It would have been better actually not to clump it because there was literally so much of it that it did create these big, large clumps. I assumed that it would, you know, be a lot smaller than it was, but these were three balls the size of like a regular softball, essentially. It was nuts. Um, then the uh, actual toast itself was also covered in powder and extract, so everything was just stupidly spicy. It was absolutely insane. I used the gulp of water to help get down each mouthful. And I gotta say, this was the most painful, the most uncomfortable challenge and or condition I think I've ever been in in my life. It literally felt like I had a burning ember sitting in my chest. And I have eaten, you know, like the one chip challenge. I've eaten some Carolina Reaper sandwiches. I have done everything and this was just the worst thing ever. And my body was freaking out. I was so, like my throat was so numb. My chest was so like burning so much. Like it literally, somebody, I, I literally felt like I had a burning coal in my chest and your body is just panicking. Uh, I would, by no means is there any endorphin rush or anything. This is sheer pain and uh, it, it almost like, I'm glad I had a plan because otherwise I would have just straight up panicked continually and you basically almost don't know what to do with yourself. But at that guys, that's pretty much about it. Um, that's the challenge. I really would not recommend trying it. Uh, even being able to complete it, I would not do it again. I actually don't think it's worth $3,000. It was that uncomfortable. It was that difficult. I'm telling you right now, you cannot do this. You know, like you have no hope. And and it's not like I'm used to eating, you know, Carolina Reaper peppers or anything. I do enjoy a good spice, but there is such a difference between even like enjoying a ghost pepper level spice and what this was. This was just inedible. This was absolute pain, absolute torture. And let's say hypothetically you could eat this level of spice comfortably you would still have to have like borderline professional eater skills to be able to just eat this in the time there is just that much batter there is that like the chicken tenders or whatever are really that big they are literally what they call double battered or whatever um it is just like really and in case you're wondering no i was not allowed to wear gloves no i was not allowed to have napkins that was all part of the challenge Again, really, this challenge was intended to kill you. It was intended to actually be impossible. Um, you know, you know, and even when you had the pepper X on your skin, it was like pepper spray. The stuff was coxic. You saw how uh, bright it made my knees. Um, and you just gotta imagine every my hands felt like they're being bitten by fire ants. But so did my face, and that's just from my knee from slapping my knee for just a second. Like I said, it's just just don't do it but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video um you know let me know what you think down below let me know if you think really you know you should be uh, advertising uh, publicly that it's only made with ghost peppers when it's made with a you know pepper over 300 times you know hotter or over like you know heck, two over two more million scoville long story short this was nuts and uh i watching back i cannot even believe i did this I remember how painful, how uncomfortable it was in the moment, and no full fat milk wasn't helping, no ice cream wasn't helping, like this was literally just beyond all measure. Uh, like even when I had like Carolina Reaper items before, I found like ice cream or milk helped a little bit. This was just so hot, there was like no feeling, it was like, a, it honestly just crazy at that everyone i do appreciate um you know the prizes even though we were never apparently getting the shoes so that was also kind of a bit of a lie as Javi did legitimately think this was impossible changing to the pepper x after the last winter to actually make it impossible because that ghost pepper he had a couple people beat it having changed it to pepper x no one could beat it and i see why anyway guys that's about it appreciate s and j's appreciate you watching Hope you enjoyed literally probably the world's worst food challenge. And at that, enjoy the rest of your day.
Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.